Hello good people! This is Fisher12 and we have another exciting video for you guys today, as always. And today's video is going to be a little different than normal. Uh, this is going to be the start of my channel branching out into the COD esports scene. Uh, if that's something you're not into and you're sitting there thinking to yourself, God, I wish you would just upload more girl advice. Why isn't he helping me trying to get the girl of my dreams? Uh, then I won't be mad if you don't want to watch this video or any other videos in this series. Um, I get it. I get that you're here strictly for girl advice, and here I am trying to upload content that's not girl advice, and you don't appreciate it. I hear you loud and clear. But, with the end of Season 1 and the start of Season 2, I thought I would talk about some of the recent team changes that happened in the, uh, COD Esports scene, and give you my thoughts on them. Uh, the video that you are about to see was recorded the day before the Season 2 draft, which was also before the start of Season 2. So if anything is out of dated, forgive me. I tried to uh, remove anything that was outdated, um, but some things, some little things might change. So if there are changes, forgive me. So welcome to eSports fandom, name pending. Uh, let's start with the casual team changes that didn't really stir up much controversy. Uh, let's see, TK announced that they were losing Formal and Theory prior to PAX, so this is really old news who both were picked up by FaZe, uh, FaZe Black and Red respectively, uh, and they were ultimately replaced with Nezlo from Justice and Apathy of SB. There are a few more moves in that transaction in there, uh, but that was the final outcome. And I think that these were two good pickups for TK. Apathy, I think he has one of the best attitudes about the game, and he's been very hot lately, so he fits in well with TK. And Nezlo, who was on TK before, as we all know, uh, has really been on the grind, uh, he's hungry, he's loyal, he has chemistry already established with the team, uh, so these were two good pickups. So now let's move into the whole, you know, curse, confusion, mess, maze thing of reorganization that they did with their teams. Uh, and they reorganized their teams because they found out that they could only have two teams instead of three in Season 2. Uh, and that is because with three teams, I believe they own 25% of the spot roster spots in Season 2, uh, which gives them a clear unfair advantage over any other organization, so they limited that to two teams. Um, so they dropped Parasite from LV, which I'll get into a little later. Uh, they dropped Realize and Diabolic as well. They picked up a few players, uh, a whole mess of stuff. So now, as their team stands, it's Burns Off, Tipsy, Mochilla, and Enable on what I'll call Curse Orange. And then we have Muddog, Miyagi, Attach, and Croaster on the temporarily named Curse Black. Now, I'm really excited for both of these teams. I'm excited for their team house. Benson's gonna be there. Uh, Revan is still part of the Curse team, but behind the scenes. I'm really happy about that. I'm a huge Revan supporter, so anytime he has a spot on the team, I'm happy. I'm also really happy that Muddog and Croaster are still going to get to play in Season 2 because after PAX it seemed like their team on Curse was going to get dropped because they were the last one added in Season 2. Uh, but Blebdog made everything work out and after hearing him talk on ESR with Puckett, I get the honest impression that he cares about giving players who want the opportunity bad enough to have it. And that's something this community needs more of. So now let's move into the whole Envy situation. Uh, prior to the roster lock for Season 2, after PAX, their team was Rambo, Merc, Study, and Nameless. But since then, Rambo has been pushed back to a coaching position and was replaced by Parasite. Now, from a team standpoint, uh, I don't think this is a bad move by any means. You know, Rambo, not to say that he's not a good player or a skillful player, but he provides a lot of the strategy and he can still provide that strategy from the coaching role. Now, Parasite is a slayer, and that's going to add tons of stopping power to the Envy game. You know, Envy has great team chemistry together. You know, they're a band of brothers. They have a great playing style, tons of communication, selfless players. But they lack slaying force. So yes, picking up Parasite was not a bad decision by any means. What's confusing, though, is why Parasite, you know? Why him? If you need a slayer, why him? You know, he didn't qualify for champs. He didn't play at champs. Uh, he played pretty well at PAX, but immediately after announced that he was leaving Curse, joined FaZe Black, left FaZe, now went to Envy, and he has a history of this, you know? He left Curse for Optic two j two day for two days, or uh, excuse me, for two days before jumping ship back to Curse, you know? Not to mention the character he's shown is less than admirable, you know? I've seen him in person, I've seen the way that he acts, 
and talk to people and it's not nearly as bad as the persona that he displays online and I understand why because I'm sure if people met me in person it might be slight, slightly different from my Fisher, you know, 12 persona. So I get that. Now I see a lot of people giving Hashdro and Parasite a lot of face for this, you know. Hashdro for picking up a sketcher and Parasite for sketching and hurting the integrity of teams. Now, before I explain why I think Hashdo picked up Parasite, uh, I want to talk about what happened with Optic Gaming, because I think it ties in. Uh, so Optic Gaming snagged Proofy from Phase Black, and he replaced Embos, who is actually getting his own team in Optic Nation. You know, that's pretty awesome. I like Proofy. I think he fits in well with Optic. But I'm not entirely sold on the Optic Nation team. Uh, personally, I think there should be only one team per organization, but that's a completely different story. But in any case, Embos and the Optic Nation team, you know, they need three players. They needed three players before the roster lock. And I was originally hoping that they would sign a bunch of, you know, less known players like Sin and Nex. But as Tuesday progressed, the idea formed that Embos and Optic uh, approached Study in Nameless prior to Parasite joining Envy. And then, you know, Study in Nameless twisted Hashdo's arm a bit and said to him, look, either you pick up Parasite or we're gonna jump ship to Optic Nation. Plus, to back that up a little more, Nameless tweeted not too long after Envy signed Parasite that he wasn't going to let Parasite run a submachine gun and kill whore. He had to run an AR. And then he, you know, he even specifically said he wasn't going to let Parasite kill whore. You know, it wasn't implied or anything. Now we'll see if that holds true. But if it does, then that begs the question even more why Parasite if you're not going to use him as a sub slayer. So I don't blame Hasho for picking up Parasite. I think he really had no choice. You know, it was move Ray or lose two players. You know, he made the right call. Uh, but then with Optic still needing three players, Embos jumps over to Justice and grabs Killa and Mirix. Again, not too happy about that. Uh, Mirix is a really good, really solid player, so is Killa too, but Killa's attitude and approach towards the game is not something I can get on board with. You know, I can't support that. And then to finish out the lineup, they add Ricky, who has a history in Optic Gaming, which I think will, uh, you know, throw in some chemistry there. I think the guys on Optic Gaming like Ricky a lot. Uh, I think the guys, uh, the other guys in Optic Nation don't despise Ricky, but I don't think they're uh, too, too fond of him. But what continues to puzzle me is why Killa, Mirix, and Ricky would leave teams that qualified for Season 2 to play on a team that hasn't qualified for Season 2, you know? You're literally lessening your position as a pro gamer to play for a specific brand. So we'll have to see if that turns out. So just to quickly summarize everything that was said there, because there was a lot. Uh, I don't blame Hasho for picking up Parasite. I think he picked up Parasite because his arm was twisted, because Nameless and Study went and jump ship to Optic Gaming if they didn't pick up Parasite. And when they didn't jump ship, then Embos picked up Killer, Mirix, and Ricky. And that begs the question why all three of them would leave teams that have already qualified for Season 2 for a team that hasn't qualified for Season 2 and really didn't appear like they were going to qualify for Season 2. Now earlier, if you recall, I had mentioned that Nezlo left Justice for TK, and now Killa and Mirix have also left Justice, so now it's down to just staying on Justice. And now I don't know if any discussion was had with Rick, the owner of Justice and Stainville, but Stain ends up jumping ship to SB, uh, and I think this was an okay move. You know, SB had replaced their team with John Spacely Methods, so it wasn't a bad or talentless team, but I think if players want to beat complexity, if players want to win championships, they need to create a team of different, unusual, maybe even non-name players. You know, as it stands, I don't think any team can beat complexity. But I do think every team got better with these team changes, and that's what makes me most excited for Season 2, and specifically MLG Anaheim, which I will be attending. Uh, but let me know in the comments, guys, your thoughts on the recent team changes. Do you like them? Do you hate them? Do you not care? Let me know. But that's going to be the video I have for you guys today. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give the video a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Also, feel free to follow me on Twitter at Fisher12, same as the channel name. There will be a link down in the description. Also, make sure to check out DJ Anski, the music provider to the Fisher12 channel. His links will be in the description as well. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and take care.